Hi, my name is Ikanj and welcome to this tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to talk about how we can swap the array elements. So now let's have a look at this array. So let's say we want to swap the array elements at index 1 and index 5. So let's mark the indexes of this array. So this will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So the values at this element can, uh, does not matter. So it can be anything. So what we will do is we will take a temporary variable. Let's call it temp and assign it the value array index 1. So the value of temp will be 2. Now what we will do is we will assign the element at index 5 to index 1. So in this case, the array element at index 1 will be 6. So this becomes 6. Now what we will do is we will assign the value of array element 5 to temp. So this becomes 2. So this becomes 2. So we have successfully swapped the array elements at index 1 and index 5. So let's try to write the code for this particular problem. Here we have the class array swap elements. So first let's try to create the method that will swap our elements. So let's call this method swap elements and this method is going to take an integer array and two indexes i and j so in this method what we will do is we will swap the array elements at i and j in the array ARR. so before we continue first we need to verify that the values of i and j are valid so for this if the value of i is less than 0 or the value of i is greater than array dot length minus 1 in this case, we will not swap the array elements since the value of i is wrong. Similarly, we will write the condition for j. If j is less than 0 or the value of j is greater than array dot length minus 1. In this case also, we will not swap the array elements. So now if both i and j are right, we will take a temporary variable in temp and assign the value arr i and then the value of arr i will be the value of arr j and the value of arr j will be temp so now let's create a public static void main method to, in order to run this program so now let's declare an integer array and let's assign values 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so now let's call this the method swap elements with this array and let's say we want to swap the elements at index 1 and index 5 so now let's create one more method print array that will take this array and print this So what we need to do for printing the arrays, we'll take a for loop and iterate from the index 0 to the length of the array. And we will increment the value of i after each step. Now let's print the array element at index i. So now let's run this program. So as you can see, the element at index 1 was 2 and the array element at index 5 was 6. So after swapping the elements, the new array that we have is 1, 6, 3, 5, 
4, 5, 2 and 7. So now let's try with an invalid value for i. So let's say i is minus 1. In this case, the swapping should not happen. So as you can see, the array after swapping is the same as the original array. So now let's try it with an invalid value of j that is greater than the length of the array. So let's say this is 11. So in this case also, the swapping will not happen. So as you can see, all our conditions are met. So that will be all from this tutorial. Thank you for watching.